Hey everyone, in this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a stamp shape just like this one using the new balanced dash pattern in Affinity Designer version two. So I'm going to start by duplicating my illustration here and dragging it over to my other artboard. That's going to help me set the overall frame shape and make sure that it's the same aspect ratio. So the easiest way to do this is to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to use an off white color just like the other one and just drag this out. And I want to bring this behind the illustration because I'm going to use the contour tool to make sure that it stays in this aspect ratio but sizes up until I see it on the outside. So I'll select my contour tool. It's a little circle here with an arrow popping out. You can also hit O on your keyboard and I'll start dragging out until it's the size that I want. So I think right about there looks good. Now I have rounded corners, so I need to change that to the contour type miter joins, and that's going to give me the sharp corners that I want. And one final thing that I want to do is make sure that I hit bake appearance. What that's going to do is set this as a curve so that if I size this up and down, the contour isn't going to change anymore. All right, I'm going to turn the illustration off for now and just drag it out of the way. We'll bring it back later. So the next thing that I want to do is duplicate this shape because I'm going to use the duplicate to create the dash pattern. I'll select my shape and choose command J. I'm going to change the fill of this to something that we can see that the color doesn't really matter because it's going to disappear in the end, but just so that you can see it on the video. And I'm going to flip this from a fill to a stroke because that's how we're going to create our dash. I'll head right over to the stroke panel and there's some settings that I want to change. The first thing I'm going to do is just change the stroke width. I'm going to set mine at 20 points, but I can always change this if I want to. I'm going to change the cap to rounded because I know that I want circles and if I leave it on butt cap, it's going to create squares. I'll change my join to round so that I have rounded dots. Again, I want circles, not squares. And then finally, I'm going to change the alignment to stroke inside. I find this is the best one that gives me exactly what I want as far as the circles. Okay, so finally, what I need to do is change from a solid line style to a dashed line style. And you're going to see I'm going to get this sort of weird scalloped pattern because I need to head to the bottom here and make some adjustments. So whenever you choose the dashed line style, you're going to see a grid down here at the bottom and these are each pairs. So there's three different dashes that you can create within a single shape. In this tutorial, we're only going to focus on the first two. We're not going to create a complex shape. We just want some simple dots. The one on the left, that's the lighter color in each of these is the size of the dash itself. The darker one is the distance between the dashes. And this number represent, represents how many times the width. So in this case, it's one times 20 points. So this is a 20 point dash. If I drag up, if I click and drag here on the spacing, you can start to see those dashes form. If I change this to two, this is going to be two times 20 points, and I can always adjust the points as well. In this case, I want dots. I want circles that are going to help me create this. So I'm going to take this first one and I'm going to change it to zero. That's going to give me a perfect circle. Now I have my spacing almost where I want it. The problem is you can see that some spots are not distributed evenly. So this is almost bunched right here. These two are bunched down at the bottom, and this is where a balanced dash pattern is going to come in. So I'm going to go all the way to the right here and I'm going to click on balance dash pattern and it's automatically going to distribute everything. So I have a dot here in each of the four corners and then all of them in between are spaced evenly. So there's no bunching or anything. I'm going to change my spacing just a little bit more to I think 3.5. You can always again, change the points up here and then adjust here but I think this looks good. I want to use one of the Boolean or geometric operations to take this layer and cut it out of this layer. Before I can do that though, I need to convert this from a stroke to a fill. If I were to select these two right now and choose subtract, they're going to disappear because of that stroke trying to subtract from a fill. So I'm going to take this one, I'll go up to a layer and then choose expand stroke and that's going to change this layer from a stroke to a fill. Now, one important note, 
once that is done, you can no longer use the Stroke Studio to change your dash pattern. So you want to make sure that you either have it set exactly where you want it, or you have a duplicate sort of hiding in the background in case you need to adjust. All right, so now that I have that converted, I'm going to select both of these, go back up and I'll choose subtract, and I have my stamp shape. So I'll pull my illustration up to the top here and turn it back on. And I think I'll group these two together with a command G. And just like the other one, I'm just gonna add a slight shadow underneath it. And that's it, a simple frame created with a dash stroke in under five minutes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I would be so appreciative if you'd give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel as I have lots more tutorials like this one on the way. If you want to learn more about designer, consider checking out one of these two tutorials next. Thanks for watching.